Hello everybody and welcome to the first episode of Minecraft Amphitheater. You know who I am and I am joined by Aliana, otherwise known as Vulcan Cyborg. Hello there. And as I've said, this is the first episode of Minecraft Amphitheater. Let's talk about some sexuality, shall we? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. but anyway, as you guys should know by my opening, unless you don't watch my opening, that I am bi. And I love it. And before the stereotypes start going, I do not love men and women equally. I prefer one gender over the other. And that is a. S you guys will never know which gender I prefer. <sighs> Unless I tell them. But I you, won't. Do you even know which gender I prefer? Well, I think so. You think so, but you don't truly know. That's true. Just because I have a girlfriend doesn't automatically mean that I prefer women over men. Right. And that is a stereotype of bisexuality that I want to disprove before I really start talking about my sexuality. Bisexuals do not love every single gender equally. I am tired of that fucking stereotype, you guys. I mean, it's it happens in some cases, but not all of them. There are some guys that are bi who prefer over-masculine men and really, really feminine men. I mean, really, really feminine women. So, we don't all enjoy genders the same. We are all different, just like we are all different with the types of foods that we like, the types of music that we like, everything else in between. But anyway... So, would you like to get the interview started, Aliana? Yes. Okay. Alright. How did you know you were bi? Well, I didn't technically know until, like, sophomore year last year. But ever since I was little, I know that I crushed on men and women. Some men I crushed on more than women, especially this, like, really cute emo guy that I used to know when I was in fourth grade. <laughs> and, like, no joke, he was just so cute. And... Aww. It's just like, uh, but anyway, yeah, I just know that I am bi. Growing up, I actually grew up in a really homophobic house, which is kind of weird that I turned out bi. Out of all people in my family, I, I used to be homophobic until I found gay porn, and I'm like, you know, there's something wrong with me for liking this, but it's amazing. Well, that actually kind of answers my second question. How long did you know? So, on to number three. <laughs> right. did, have you ever questioned whether or not you were bi? I did when I was little. I, well, not when I was little. I guess if you can call my freshman year, I, I was really, really short my freshman year. So, you know what? When I was little, way back freshman year, two years ago, I questioned it a lot, and I was kind of on the verge of Am I straight? Am I bi? What am I? And I didn't know that bisexuality was a legitimate thing at the time. I actually didn't know what bisexuality really was until last year. Actually, this year, to be honest. But I have questioned it, but I don't question it anymore. I haven't since my freshman year. Sweet. Hmm? Good to know who you are. Yes. Be proud of it. I'm, I'm a disco panda that likes yes. men and women. You were a disco panda. All Next right. question? Uh, do you ever get pissed off at stereotypical depictions of bisexuals? I think everybody gets pissed off at stereotypes about everything. I'm sure, I'm sure religious people get pissed off about stereotypes of their religion. I don't know. There are a lot of negative stereotypes about the alternative sexualities, such as bisexuality, as I've said earlier in this video. Bisexual people do not love both genders equally. Well, not all of us. Some may. S most of us don't. Like my friend Todd, he prefers women over men, but he still likes men to a certain extent. Uh, what do you... What do you think is the dumbest bi stereotype? Although I guess you can answer that already. Yeah, the, dumb questions, right? Yeah. I know, but I also feel like this is going off topic. Well, not really, but it's going off the question. 
Have you ever heard, like, people freaking out when gay marriage is legalized, saying that people are going to be marrying children and, horse and animals next? I've, I've kind of heard that, yeah. It's just so retarded. It's like, dude, that's, that's the extreme side of the spectrum. Gay people, not all gay people are pedophiles. It's usually straight people that are. Yes, I've researched the statistics on that, so I'm not being stereotypical. And I don't think that... I think that the gay, the LGBTQ community is being completely underestimated. I see. I just don't like stereotypes about alternative sexualities in general. Yeah. It's always... Kind of pissed me off, too. Uh, have people ever judged you based on being bi? Yep, especially the religious people, especially my girlfriend's mom in particular. Oh my god, just shut up. I am bi. Get over it, please. It's just like, oh, well, you're bi, and that's against God, so it's bad. It's like, really? Okay, you're saying that I'm morally a good person. But you don't like me because I'm bi. What the serious fuck? It's kind of bullshit. I know. But it's like, oh my god, gay people are going to be married. What's next? Bestiality and more pedophiles? It's like, dude, people loving each other want to get married. What the fuck crawled up your ass and died? <laughs> I don't see the problem with this. It's like, okay, people of same sex want to get married because they love each other. They are pro they are more committed than straight people because they go through so much bullshit to get married. They wouldn't do it if it wasn't worth it. Straight people just marry because most of them got knocked up in high school. When gay people get married, you know that they care about each other. And if they have a child, it proves that they have thought about it time after time and decided to have one through adoption, through surrogate mothers, mothers for whatever, through whatever means of having one. In case you didn't hear, I was applauding you. I heard it. Thank you. But it's like, really, why are you going to judge gay people and say that they're bad for children when a straight person can literally just get knocked up at any time? You don't see that happening with gay people. You don't see a show called 16 Pregnant and Gay. There is a reason for that. Because if you have sex and you're gay, you don't have to worry about children. Thank you. These are for you. Thank you. Morality and sexuality are different. And you know what? People of alternative sexualities have pretty kick-ass moralities. Thank you. You should put that on a t-shirt. I Morality really should. is not sexuality or however you said it. You exactly. said it better. Yeah. But they're right. really not the same thing. It's like if you're going to judge someone based on their sexuality, you, you personally deserve a backhand. You should really... You should judge someone on their actions and what they really are. Yeah. It's like, we've got enough problems. We don't need to be... Like, the world as it is puts enough shit on us. We don't need to go shitting on each other, man. Exactly. But seriously, let's... Let's make this Minecraft amphitheater something important. What's your yes. next question? Uh... What are you trying to accomplish with Minecraft Amphitheater? To unite the sexualities and to bring understanding and disproving of stereotypes to religions and sexualities. My overall goal is to get people of religions and other sexualities for us all to kind of understand each other. Well... Alright. Uh... Do you have any advice for other people who are bisexual, who might not be in that good a place, like if they live in a homophobic area, or 
if they want to come out but don't know how. Or, you know, just general advice. Stuff like that. Well, if you live in a homophobic area and you're by, find someone to you know would risk their life for you if they had to. Find someone that you know cares deeply about you and just talk to them about it. <laughs> See kind of what their thoughts about it are. And if you don't know how to come out as being bi, then I think you should just be open with close friends, especially non-homophobic ones, because you don't need to go through bullshit because people are assholes, especially friends. I mean, if they're, first of all, if they're going to be an asshole for you because you're bi, they are not your friend. They are pricks and bitches and assholes. So don't, don't ever be friends with someone that you feel is going to constantly judge you. Feel someone that you know you can be open with and just tell them, hey, I'm bi, and have, and know that they're going to understand you in the very least. Any final thoughts? Last words? Mm, not that I can think of. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you like it, well, then I'm glad you liked it. Message me on the in any of the services below in the description if you would like to be on Minecraft Amphitheater. People of any sexuality and religion are allowed, but my one rule is tolerance or TTFO. Thank you guys and have a good day.